Hey everyone, Mike Stokes here with uh, Lush Planet Design Build. We'll start off today by just talking about the drainage plane. Most people don't realize that the siding is not what protects the house from water. It's actually the drainage plane behind it. So this is uh, tar paper, the felt tar paper, and what we've done is we've used two layers of 30 pound felt. And the reason that we use two layers of 30 pound felt is that every time you have a hole, a nail going through, all your siding nails, any other kind of nail, that penetrates through the drainage plane and makes a potential place where you can leak. So the great thing about the felt paper is that it kind of seals around that. It seals around that way better than a tieback or another type of fabric type, type of drainage plane that you'd put on your house, a house wrap. So that's why our preferred method is to use this tar paper. And uh, the other thing I'd like to say about the drainage plane is that most, the, the way to think about it when you're sealing your house from the weather is you think about this plane right here as the surface that you're, you're sealing like a boat. So you can't seal it completely like a boat. The tar paper works really great because when it gets wet, it swells and it lets, it stops the water from going in and then when it dries out, it'll let the moist air go out of the house. So that's why you couldn't wrap a house in plastic because it would mold from the inside out. But while you have this drainage plane, when you're building, if you think about sealing this up and you think about how water works. So most people think about water as just going downwards. So water will go down, but it also has capillary action. So it'll stick to itself, for example, let's say you got a water droplet here, and it'll go horizontally. And then if it's squeezed between two things and a bunch of water backs up behind it, it'll actually push up. So you always want to think about water when you're creating your drainage plane. And again, remember that the drainage, this is what's keeping the house protected. This is not keeping the house protected. The main function of the siding is to make your house look beautiful and to protect the drainage plane behind it. So if you notice here, we've got this little box where we're going to have an exterior outlet. And we've caulked around the top and the sides and we've put this little furring strip on here. So why did we do that? We did that because when the water comes down the drainage plane, if we just left this open, then the water would hit that and then go behind it. So every window, every opening that we have on the house, we've done the same thing. We don't do the bottom because like water is going to push down, it's going to drain out. So if any water happens again there, we want to let it go out. So I think that's enough about the drainage plane itself. Um, the next thing I want to bring your attention to is this design that we've created for a vertical siding. So if you look over here, you'll see that this is a shiplap siding. Now, shiplap siding is normally supposed to be horizontal, horizontal, so the water will shed off of it. But for this design, we, the client really liked the vertical look, and, and I really like the vertical look too. It's, it's a beautiful look. So what we did was we took these T111 furring strips, and we lined them up on all of the studs and nailed them up on the studs and they're flipped backwards. So behind here, you can see, if you get close up, that there's the little grooves that you'll see in a T111 siding. So the water, when it comes down, will hit this plane and then can travel sideways, go through the hole, and keep going. Um, it's not a perfect system, but for, as opposed to if we just put this vertical siding on this drainage plane, then what would happen is, is the water would just get compressed in there and start, just basically start rotting it from the back out. So now, when water gets behind it, because water always gets behind your siding, especially when you're running vertical siding, this system will also work with a board and batten system. So if you're using a board and batten system, this is a great way to do it. Um, this T111 doesn't come uh, treated for moisture, so we actually treated it with a, um, with a, a rot prevention treatment. So I think that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. We can do a, a walk around just to kind of see the rest of the house. Um, well, the other wall's not done. So, so anyways, it's a beautiful look and hope you like it. I hope you found that video helpful and useful. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave comments and I will answer them. And please subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thanks.